Hi everyone, it's Dr. Romani. Welcome back to this YouTube channel that takes on a whole variety of topics related to narcissism, narcissistic personality, and just sort of toxic relationships in general. Today I'm going to put it to you as a riddle, which is, what part of the face do you think research has shown is a giveaway on narcissism? Give it a shot, drop it down below. Obviously, if you drop it down below, you're going to see other people might have already gotten the right answer because they watched it. But just think about it at least. So let's talk about that right now. Because as you can imagine, sort of because I care so much about this topic, and I'm, I'm actually a professor and an academic by training, I read everything I can get my hands on about narcissism, particularly the science and the scholarship about it, so I can stay on top of the science to be the best therapist possible to bring the best information to all of you. Now, every so often, I read an article that actually surprises me and may potentially be useful for other people. This one did more of the surprising. I don't know if it's going to be useful to you, but I think it's worth talking about it because it was so unusual that it caught my attention. This study was conducted by researchers named, I'm going to hopefully say their names right, Yakumin and Rule, who are at the University of Toronto. In very simple terms, what they found was that you may be able to identify grandiose narcissism on the basis of, wait for it, eyebrows. Yes, eyebrows. The researchers actually used an interesting kind of research or experimental design to figure this out. They gave people, they, they had brought some people together and they had them fill out a questionnaire. And that questionnaire is designed to measure more grandiose narcissism. The test is called the Narcissistic Personality Inventory. And then they also took pictures of their faces. They then were able to put together the scores in the pictures. They just presented the pictures, the photos, to another group of people who didn't know anything about the people who had the pictures and they didn't know about the test or anything. And they asked the people looking at the pictures to identify who they thought, just on the basis of looking at their face, would be highest in narcissism. And what the researchers ended up finding out was that the cue on the face that was consistently associated with grandiose narcissism was eyebrows. And very specifically, they found out that these people who were more narcissistic by their tests had more distinctive, dense eyebrows. The authors suggest that eyebrows are actually a very expressive part of our face, and they allow us to express lots of emotions, such as fear, anger, surprise. See how my eyebrows went up? So think of all the ways that you use your eyebrows in any given day, questioning, doubting, scowling, startled. So they're very expressive. A lot of our face is communicated by our eyebrows. The researchers cropped the pictures so they didn't show clothing or any other adornment. It was almost like this. The people in the pictures weren't wearing any makeup. Then, they, again, like I said, they showed those unadorned photos, like I told you already, to those people and asked them to rate the pictures. Overall, there were more pictures of women than men, and the researchers were aware of that. They just had more women show up with the original time they asked them to show up. Now, one of the authors ideas for why they got the research findings they did is because eyebrows are so distinctive and so recognizable, they're actually a pretty important feature on our face, that grandiose narcissists may actually have a preference for more distinctive eyebrows and as a result may put more time and effort into maintaining and shaping their eyebrows. So when you think about it, people who really put a lot of eyebrow time in, it's almost like putting on makeup without putting on makeup. It's kind of like a baseline cosmetic enhancement because you've done something beforehand. Even if your face isn't done, your eyebrows would be ready to go. The authors also cited literature, other people's research, that indicated that eyebrows are actually a significant part of how we assess how attractive someone is, which in turn will impact something like dating. And since narcissists are a lot better at getting the partners they want and they really, really want to win, they may actually be a bit more invested in eyebrows that matter. 
Now, what was really fascinating was that the authors even manipulated the faces. They moved the eyebrows that were on the more narcissistic faces to the faces of other people who didn't have the high narcissism scores, right? So they just wanted to see if it was the eyebrows that were doing it. And at the end of it all, it was those eyebrows. So even when they moved those narcissistic eyebrows, as it were, it was the eyebrows that consistently cued grandiose narcissism. Then they called those non-narcissistic faces narcissistic when they put the narcissistic eyebrows on those other faces. So it makes sense. They took the narcissistic eyebrows, photoshopped them, put them onto the other faces that were less narcissistic by the test, and those faces then got rated as more narcissistic. There was no other facial feature that mattered. Not eyes, not noses, not the sharpness of cheekbones, not the fullness of lips. It was all about the eyebrows. I found this fascinating. I read the study a couple of times. I was like, really? Now, the researchers determined that this finding actually was much more statistically strong when they used images of women, that women's eyebrows mattered a bit more in this rating of narcissism. And while the findings were still there with men, they were not as pronounced in the images of men. So in addition, the way that the people rated the eyebrows mattered. Eyebrows that were specifically rated as more distinct, more groomed, and more feminine, I don't even know what a feminine eyebrow is, but okay, more feminine in their research, were rated higher in perceived narcissism. So someone else thought they were narcissistic. Now, remember, the pictures in the study were not adorned in any way. The people who had their pictures taken that day didn't have on makeup or anything like that, not earrings or anything. Any grooming, again, of the eyebrows, is something those people had done to their eyebrows before the study. Now, in past research on sort of how, looking what we call morphology and rating of narcissism, researchers have been show that people can actually do a pretty good job of identifying narcissism, maybe not just on faces, but on the basis of a person's clothing, their makeup, their grooming, very exterior kinds of characteristics. The researchers in this study we're really highlighting their finding that even in the absence of all that makeup and hairdos and all that, just the eyebrows were a significant cue signaling perceived narcissism. It could be a bit of a chicken egg issue, right? It's possible, I think it's probable, frankly, that people with distinct groomed eyebrows care a lot more about their appearance and so well-groomed eyebrows may actually sort of communicate something about, I don't know, that, that the person, where they put their time and resources in terms of caring much more about their appearance, perhaps getting more validation or even needing more validation on the basis of their appearance, just cultivating, again, their more exterior, maybe even superficial kind of qualities. It basically tells us that the people with more distinct and well-groomed eyebrows had higher scores on the narcissistic personality inventory. The people who rated the images didn't know that. And those scores, those higher scores, and that perception of narcissism obviously follows those eyebrows wherever they went. Not the whole face, just the eyebrows. But also, let's say that people with more distinctive eyebrows Maybe even before they start trimming them, maybe they start getting treated differently earlier in their lives. Could it be developmental? Could it be something about eyebrows and how we do appear even when we're kids? Or maybe, maybe they had a parent who had distinctive eyebrows and the distinctive eyebrows are genetic and they were around a narcissistic parent. Ah, oh, see, it's all quite provocative to think about. That's why research is so cool. This study jumped out at me not because I want you to all start going gray rock with strangers on the basis of their eyebrows, but rather it actually to me was an interesting wake up call. How much even researchers in research labs are working to help us figure out how we can identify narcissism in a stranger or in a new person as quickly as possible because it is doing so much harm to so many of us. The authors of this study do point out the idea that narcissists are often more attractive, and research has shown that, so they draw people in 
But then they tend to mistreat people pretty soon after they pull them in. So perhaps those distinctive eyebrows are what draw someone in, but maybe those distinctive eyebrows are two little red flags that are sitting above their eyes saying, maybe you should have paid attention sooner. Now, obviously, these researchers are doing very preliminary research. Please don't go off yelling at some random person because they have great distinctive or well-groomed or dense eyebrows. But do take note that narcissism is causing enough of a challenge in lives all over the world, like I said, that researchers are actually putting in the time and effort to actually help us figure out how to identify them sooner before they're fully insinuated into our lives. Now we just need someone to do the research to help us figure out a way to stop people from justifying gaslighting. So look alive, pay attention to those eyebrows. Again, these findings are more pronounced in women than men, but it's always such a pleasure to bring some of this new science to you. I'm on top of it. A lot of the research studies are probably a bit more mm, obtuse than this channel would like, but anytime one of these real sort of interesting studies comes across my desk, I really look forward to sharing them with you. Have any thoughts or comments about those, about narcissistic eyebrows? Drop them in the comments. As always, it's wonderful to have you tune in. Please subscribe if you're new to this channel. Hit that bell for notifications. We have new videos coming out every day.